Welcome to the Union Weekly Insider. I'm Allison Meyer, and this is the official podcast for the Union Weekly of Cal State Long Beach. I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you what it takes to put together a weekly publication. With one issue printed and many to go, the Union Weekly staff is working out the kinks. Looking back at how the production of the first issue went, Editor-in-Chief Alex Ramos has one thing he liked to improve upon. We, we ought to communicate more, and that basically means just getting over your fear of calling someone out and saying, hey, you were supposed to get me that article, or you were supposed to do this. So um, that's what we've been doing. Not, not that viciously to each other, but you know, we're just we're hitting each other up. We're letting each other know when things are happening. And I would say it felt like things were going very smoothly because even when people didn't show up for things or even when things were missing, we at least knew of things ahead of time. So I would say that's the only major improvement. Everything else, I mean, they, everyone knows how to do their pages. Sheila knows how to copy edit stuff. It's her thing. You know how to do podcasts. Everyone knows what they have to do is just the a matter of getting back into it. So everyone's here now. We're getting back into it. Moving into the second issue, Off the Net, On the Streets, the feature focuses on the way our country works out its problems through the age-old act of protest. Alex gave me more detail on exactly what the feature was about. The feature idea is focusing on protests and the way that social media has shaped modern day protest. And it's, it's extremely relevant because we just had the Women's March We've been having ongoing protests over the pipelines, the Dakota pipeline, the Keystone pipeline, whatever other pipeline they decide to do. Um, Black Lives Matter has been going on for as long as I can remember since 2014. And it's still going strong um, every time another incident occurs between police officers and members of the African-American community. And so it seems like it's all just coming together now, all these protests, and it's becoming obvious that we're going to be protesting a lot of things now with this new administration. Um, not to get too much into politics, but that's that's where it seems like America's going. And so we're highlighting that in this week's feature. This week, I decided to take a look at the person behind the copy edits, Sheila Sater. Although the title copy editor doesn't quite sum up her job description. Here's Sheila. Uh, my name's Sheila Sather and I'm editor. No, I'm, I'm copy and content editor. I'm like fact checker, copy editor, content editor. Yeah. However, Sheila didn't start at the Union Weekly as a copy editor. I've been with the Union Weekly a year and a half and I was doing like odd jobs in and out like last year and then like I kind of dropped off and then I came back in a lot more seriously and I saw a need that wasn't being filled in the Union Weekly, and I decided to fill that need because it was exactly what I love to do. Sheila likes to look at her job in a fun way. It's like a puzzle. It's like a little puzzle. You see, and it's like, it hurts your head. Like, it hurts your head a lot because you look at it and you're like, okay, something's wrong with it. You identify what's wrong with it, and then you have to think of a way in which to fix it or to say, this is the editor's job, so they have to do this. And so that's like just the basics of it. And then you have to see if someone's, if their facts are right. And then you have to see if they're doing it the right way within the scopes of AP style. So it's a little bit of a hard job for one person. Which she even refers to it as an addiction. Yeah, it's weird how much of an addiction. It, like I can have hours in this office, like pass. Like I could, I've been in this office for 13 hours and not been tired. I, I love this job. Sheila is our only copy editor currently, but she hopes to change that by putting together a team of copy editors. I, don't, I just think like it's a really big job and it needs to be a priority of the paper. Like not just to make the pages look good, but have the content be really good and have strong writing in it. Cause like that's what gets awards. That's what like makes it look good. And that's what makes it feel good to write it. And so I decided to do the team because I was just like, I can't do this all by myself, but also like I'm a bit of a control freak and so I don't want just random people editing it. I want people editing it the way because if you see Bailey, Bailey hyper edits things and then Alex is working on editing more because he doesn't edit as much. And so I'm like an easy medium, you know. As Sheila said, it's a big job, so I wanted to know what the hardest part of being a copy editor is. 
it's sitting down and like really sitting in the work because sometimes like people make so many errors or like you just get like angry and it's trying to manage your frustrations over it and be like really neutral because sometimes you just look at a paper and I get really mad because I'm like this is so aggravating this is terrible and like I have to remember that everybody's like in a different stage of their writing and so for me it's managing like my own emotions towards the subject that I'm reading so if it's in an office where someone is purposely not doing what they're supposed to be doing as an editor then I have to like I have to manage my feelings about it and be super neutral so I try to be as fair and as nice and as like unbiased to people as possible that's the hardest part is like saying crappy work and not getting angry thankfully she still loves her job and wants to continue copy editing in the future thank you for listening to the Union weekly insider to listen to more episodes, check us out on iTunes or any of your favorite podcast apps. New episodes of this podcast drop every Wednesday during the semester. Our multimedia manager is Allison Meyer. Music in this episode is from the YouTube Audio Library. You can find issues of the Long Beach Union Weekly online at lbunion.com and on Medium. Go to medium.com and search Long Beach Union Weekly. Please follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank mm -hmm. you.